Here's a video of me crying in a tent right near the top of Kilimanjaro summit and for all the reasons I could be crying, the reason is not what you think. A quick backstory, I contacted Discover Adventure asking if they needed any doctors to join any trips. I was told a doctor had dropped out of an upcoming trip and I agreed to join. On top of this, an Achilles injury was really preventing me from doing much exercise and then I developed this. I don't know what I've done. It's like my neck has gone into the worst spasm. If I do this, ah, I can't, literally can't turn it that way. Ah, ah. Whilst most people train for years to climb Kilimanjaro, I had less than two weeks. Now, here's the real reason. This is the biggest killer on Mount Kilimanjaro. In this video, our altitude was around 4,640 meters. Let's put that into perspective because I don't really think it means much. Here's the quick science lesson. Now, most of us sit around sea level or a little bit higher. And as we increase in altitude, the oxygen pressure decreases, meaning less is available for us. One of the most dangerous consequences of this is the lack of oxygen causes inflammation in our cells and the inflammation causes swelling and fluid retention. The two most dangerous organs and common organs this occurs in is the lungs and the brain. And what you're seeing here is a lethal brain condition called HACE, high altitude cerebral edema, which basically means brain swelling at high altitude. I later went on to develop worsening symptoms of this, but more on that in this video here. 